Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Wow, my goodness. Whew. Sorry I'm late. Sorry I'm late. But we, uh, we got a video to make. Welcome, everybody. Week three, Kalamazoo Raichu coming at you. <laughs> I'm actually such a rhymer. Okay, now, real talk, though. We played against Colin, and that game went super well. We had a lot of fun, and to be honest, wasn't too happy with my prep work, and I knew Colin going in was a super scary opponent after beating both DJ and Nate, two formidable opponents, and we're looking at this saying, we're gonna be in for a bumpy ride. So, without further ado, let's go and check out these teams that both of us brought this week. All right, starting off here with the Evan Swaglins. We got Evan, but in five years. Snorlax, Leftovers, Thick Fat, 188 HP, 128 Defense, and 192 Special Defense. This guy was the Curse Lax, everybody. Curse, Brick Break for the screens, I guess he maybe thought. And Rest Earthquake. So, a lot of good move coverage, and I'm gonna be real with y'all. This guy is a beast. Like Chansey tier. Chansey, Snorlax. I don't know. Like both of them, this guy was an absolute thorn in my side. I'm, whew, it's this guy. Cursed Lax is very cursed if you have to play up against it. Coming up next, we got Evan, but female. Slurpuff with that citrus berry, Umburden. Chomping at it, getting that extra boost. Jolly Nature got a belly drum set, play rough, drain punch, and cotton guard. Pretty cool, actually. I like the little cotton guard action. After that, Evan, but Azumarill. Okay. Choice banded Azumarill with huge power. This thing obviously going in for the Mega Smack. We have Aqua Jet, play rough, super power, ice punch. All that with an adamant nature. This thing was straight up just going for pure power. Evan, but edgy bird. Corviknight. Heavy duty boots with that mirror armor. Grabbing 252 HP, 168 defense, and 88 special defense. Grabbing that impish nature. Sub, roost, bulk up, and brave bird. Evan, but fighting. Life orb, Mian Chao. Regenerator, always good. Getting that U-turn, brick break, knock off, poison jab. Uh, max attack and speed, pretty cool set. Last but not least, just straight up Evan. Straight up. Hi Evan. Porygon 2 with the light clay. Getting up, just the reflect. No light screen. Maybe just thought I had only physical attackers. Who knows? Or maybe just wanted to have that straight, straight investment. Looks like he forgot to attack on four EVs there, but recover, reflect, thunder wave, and ice beam. All good stuff. So that wraps up for Colin's team. And now for your week three, Kalamazoo right two. Kalamazoo, ah, oh, oh, the power, the power. I can't contain the power. Okay, okay. You may see a reoccurring theme here. First on the docket, we got our boy Wing Ming. The Crobat coming back again with the Heat Rock. I really like this set. Just uh, getting that U-turn action going in. Set up the sunny day. Leave. And, you know, little stab sludge bomb and heat wave boost in the sun. Uh, put that 176 speed to outspeed everything on his team. Uh, put the rest in special attack and everything else in HP. Ladies and gentlemen, Dane Cook. Yes, yes, it's everybody's favorite comedian, Dane Cook, back on the palette. Just, just bringing sunshine to everybody's day with that solar power. Love that tandem here. Getting the choice scarf to make sure, just in case he brought me and Xiao with a choice scarf, that this thing would outspeed it 100%. So, grabbing the max special attack and max speed. Modest nature, just to give it a little bit of extra. And giving it just straight up Thunderbolt, Weather Ball, Grass Knot, Bolt Switch. And looking at his team in prep, he had no answer to electric moves at all. So, Dane Cook, 
was a a no-brainer. Next up, B Bees. Nah, Bees here, coming back. Unfortunately, not doing the uh, the old rest punch set. Going for the more traditional. We're getting max HP and a little split in defense action with that EV light. Grabbing the Will-O-Wisp because he had a lot of physical attackers. Trick Room, Protect, and for some reason I brought Pain Split. As you'll see in this video, didn't help at all. Up next, we got Long Neck Nelly. Pretty big staple in the Kalamazoo Raichus so far. Coming back with some Harvest shenanigans, thought that since Wingding is getting the Heat Rock Sunny Day action, might as well abuse that power if we can. Made him max defense, a little bit of HP after that, and the rest of the remainder into special attack. Just going for straight substitute, Leech Seed, Flamethrower, and Giga Drain. Up next, we got Cobalt. Coming in with a Rocky Helmet and getting a little bit in HP, enough to outspeed everything, and then rests in maxing that attack. Getting Bolt Switch, Sword Stance, in case we can set up at all, and then Close Combat Iron Head, just great coverage overall. And last, bring him back, we got Pony Boy. Assault Vested Mudsdale, with that stamina, going max HP and attack, uh, zero speed IVs, making sure that we can get bolstered with that trick room we got smackdown for the corviknight and then just running through everything with earthquake close combat and iron head to just fill it out i guess against slurpuff all in all the team here going for the three and three split of fast boys to slow boys so we kind of have a little niche here with the crowbat heliolisk duos and then the Dusclops kind of in tandem working between Exeggutor and Mudsdale and then Cobalt just straight up being a utility setup in case things go that way. But as you see in the game coming up, that's not how it's going to happen. It's not how it's going to happen. Moving into the gameplay, Expert in Sex versus the Sauce Boss. And as you see here, I'm looking at his lineup and thinking, all right, well, just gonna lead off with Heliolisk. Dane Cook coming in. Porygon 2 sees I have solar power. I think I'm just gonna go for the Volt Switch. I don't want to be paralyzed or anything. And I, I just don't know what I want to do. So does an Ice Beam and starts going into that. And I'm expecting him to put up the other screen. So I just go for a quick burn. Decides to go for the T Wave. And I say, okay, well, I'll just uh, set up a Trick Room. And I protect for nothing. Good play. Good play. Now, Evan but in five years is probably the biggest thorn in my side this entire game. As he just starts setting up in my face. And as I'm will o wisping, or at least trying to, I kind of have a sinking bad feeling in the back of my head saying, there's no way this guy's not running rest. So what am I doing? So immediately, I'm like, I need to go for something before this thing just keeps setting up in my face. Go for a sword stance, and Earthquake takes out more than half my health. So at this point, I'm saying, look, I just need to try and kill this thing as soon as possible. And gets the quick 1-0. And this is where I'm thinking, wow, I'm about to get 6-0'd myself. Straight up. Pony Boy coming in, does a sick amount of damage. 23%. You know, not bad. And then, and then he rests it off. So at this point, he's got two turns of sleep, and I'm thinking Long Neck Nelly is going to have to play the long game. We put in the Leech Seed and the Substitute, and at this point, we're gonna go with that fast because this thing will take a little bit. As you see some riveting Giga Drain gameplay into Earthquake. And we are playing the stall. Now, I'm not sure whether or not, like what it would have came down to in terms of like who would have won the PP stall or whatnot. But we just keep going at this for a long time. 
I'd like to take this moment to uh, shout out to APDL Season 3 coming up soon, which is hype. A little doubles action. And that should be good. And boom! He switches out. He switches out. See, if I was calling, I would have just stayed in the entire game. I'm not stubborn. <laughs> I'm like, if you don't have an answer to me, I'll just, I'll just wait here. I'll just wait here, honestly. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, I'm already up almost four times attack and defense. And it's obvious that I'm only using Giga Drain, so... I don't know, right? But at the end of the day, I guess uh, the patient hunter gets the prey, right? So, Porygon, I know he has Ice Beam, so I'm just going behind the sub as I was planning to before he switched. And he gets out his own recover. So knowing my behind the sub, I get out a Leech Seed and we start doing this game again. And that's definitely gonna kill me. So I need to switch. And in comes the Dusk Locks. And I'm not sure if he wanted, to, yeah, I'm not sure about the T-Wave there, but fortunate for me, I get it out and I know he's gonna go for a recover. So I do have time to make a switch. And I just go for a U-turn. Really effective gameplay. Yep, here we go. And goes for the T-Wave again. Big brain! Big brain. Slurpuff coming in. And I just, I go for the paralyzed move, you know? I just I just feel like it's the best play. So, get the Will-O-Wisp on to the Belly Drum, which was huge. Get the Protect, just to get a little bit of damage going on. And Evan but Female... We're in this type of stalemate again where I'm thinking, wow, I'm so glad I brought Pain Split. What a good move, right? Because now I can Pain Split as he's taking incremental damage and then I'll just be at the same health. Because that's how, that's how recovery works, right? Okay. So I realize that happens. He switches out. Get a close combat in here. And at this point, if you're not if you're not up and ready to go as a Snorlax, Pony Boy can actually hurt you now. Crobat incoming. And he goes for Ice Punch and just straight up reads that. So four to five. Azumarill just nasty. So I didn't know if he was locked in or not, but I was like, okay, hey, well, my best bet here is just to try and sweep with Dane Cook. So, Porygon 2 just takes it. And Evan dies to a Thunderbolt. Me and Chow, I know I can't kill it at 100%, so... We're just going to sack off bees so we can get some chip damage on it somehow. And recognizing that it has Life Orb, we just make sure that it takes two hits so that we can roll on the T-Bolt. And we're just gonna T-Bolt. And we're just gonna T-Bolt. And we're just gonna T-Bolt. And just goes for the ball cup, but I mean, at this point, Dane Cook just cleans up five kills. And yeah, there's some Really, really, really sketchy moments in that game. Like, I'm talking, I could have lost the Snorlax alone. The Slurpuff versus the Dusclops, that was just straight like, okay, like what am I going to do? Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, like a really good game there. I think just noticing the fact that his team was a little bit on the slower side... I was able to kind of maneuver that and just that one glaring weakness Dane Cook was just able to clean up so GG's to Colin that was actually a really close game and really fun that was that was hype so good job my man coming up next though the big Canadian standoff we got your boy sauce versus lanky Paul with the Edmonton ice cues so that's going to be happening. Look forward to that video coming out this Sunday. And oh, it's going to be a really good game. 
It's going to make you want to say, yeah, baby. You know? No, but to all y'all tuning in, thank you so much. And continue to watch some more Kalamazoo Raichu action. So, yeah. Just wanted to say thanks. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, keep it saucy. Keep it saucy. Saucy. And love you all. Peace.